So I'm here with BCCC driver Rob Collard. So Rob, yesterday you qualified uh, a pretty good uh, P13, but you must have been over the moon with uh, P4. Yes, it was. Um, you know, yesterday was a bit tough in qualifying. I was a little bit disappointed with the time because I felt we should have been in the top six or eight. So um, to come through now from 13th on the grid in race one and finish fourth, it's a fantastic effort for eBay Motors. So now you're starting P4 for the next race. You may have a bit of balance on, but as Andrew Jordan proved in that race, that actually can prove to be an advantage in these conditions. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping it's going to be dry now. I think we've got a good car for the dry, you know, and we can really push on and hopefully get a podium. That's, um, that's the aim. Now, speaking of Andrew Jordan, Andrew Jordan finished third. Did you feel that you could have taken third from him? With about five laps to go, six laps to go, I was really, really pushing Andrew hard, and I actually felt we had the car to do it. But then, with like sort of two or three laps to go, I, I, my tyres really, really started to to um, disintegrate because it was it was dry out there, and we were driving on on, on wet um, pattern tyres. So, as much as I could do was to put Andrew under pressure, um, but I probably didn't have the pace to overtake him, and uh, that proved at the end. You were the fastest uh, eBay Motors car out there. Were you happy with that? Yeah, that's, that's a fantastic feeling to be the fastest rear-wheel drive car on the grid. You know, and um, to come from where we did on the grid to come through was, was a great achievement. So I'm very pleased and uh, look forward to race two. From where I was, it didn't actually look that damp, but how uh, wet or slippy was it actually on the track? The start of the race was very slippery, um, you know, and then the dry line started to appear as the race went on. You know, and, and towards the end, the track was fully dry. Um, but the problem was, if you went offline, it was like driving on marbles. So you had to be very, um, very accurate with your driving, and it made it a little bit difficult when you're trying to overtake because the, the drivers were, were staying on the dry line. And I was having to go onto the wet line to get past them. But um, you yeah, know, the, the BMW drove really well, and uh, it was handling good, and it, it gave me the good car to, to get a fourth place result. At the start of the race, the sun actually then uh, turned out. Did you feel like you'd made a wrong call going onto the wet? No, absolutely not. We um, we had two outlaps to the grid, and the team boss come on the radio to me. He said, "Do you want to go to six? And I said, "Absolutely not. It was definitely not the right choice to go to six at the start. You know, perhaps if um, we had faster pit stops, you know, that might have been an option to do maybe sort of mid race. But no, I think we made the right choice. Okay, thanks for your time, Rob, and good luck for round two. Thank you.